This is Jeanette Severs for Stock and Land Newspaper, reporting in Omeo, where Minister Peter Walsh has released the action plan for managing wild dogs in Victoria. Uh, the high country community of Omeo, Benambra, across to Buchan, down to Ense, and over the other side of the mountain into the northeast have come together to hear what the Minister and farmers and people from DEPI have uh, had to say about the action plan and about wild dogs. The meeting here today is really part of the Victorian Wild Dog Patrol Advisory Committee's annual program. It's about getting out and engaging with the public. Uh, Twelve months ago we did the same over at Talangata and we intend to keep doing these at least once every 12 months as a regional focus. It may happen a bit more often. Generally speaking, they have a statewide forum once a year just to keep in touch with the community and know what's going on and also to disseminate the things that we're learning and the processes we're taking. And how do you think today's meeting went with the messages that the government was putting out and also the messages that the farmers wanted them to hear? Yeah, look, I, I think today's meeting went pretty well. Um, every meeting should have its moments, I think today did. If there's not some challenging questions and issues raised, then how do we move forward? We need to know what those challenging points and issues and concerns are. We had a couple of those raised today. That gives us the ability to take those on and process them. It helps us if they're applicable. And our advice back to the Secretary of the Department is to ways forward with those issues and how to deal with them. So I think in that way it's very fruitful, but it's also very fruitful today to learn of the DPI, now DEPI, and their direction they're taking with some of the data collection and so forth. That's highly relevant to wildlife management. If we don't have good solid data to build around, then the whole structure basically falls apart. It just doesn't work effectively. So that's, that's good. Um, it's a good chance to listen to the Minister and the Minister to listen to us. Um, generally a, a good forum. Statewide program manager for wild dogs across Gippsland and the Hume region as well. Um, hopefully, the outcomes of today are uh, that um, we, we now have obviously launched a new action plan um, and that will guide us for wild dog management over the next five years. Um, we're looking for greater coordination and there will be greater coordination between community and government to all work together on the same issue and achieve the same objectives of reducing the impacts for wild dogs and livestock. So, do you expect, um, for instance, the Minister's mentioned local um, Lanky groups, local best wild, best land groups. What I'm hearing is that you expect farmers and landholders to do more baiting on public land as well as on their own land. Is that an expectation? We're looking at farmers and private landholders to look at all tools to uh, control the wild dogs, whether that be baiting, trapping, shooting, establishment of um, exclusion fencing, whatever it takes to reduce the impacts that we're asking for both community government and industry to be involved in. But essentially you're asking farmers who are business people running running a business to spend more time on public land um, works as well as on their own land. Yeah, look, if they see benefit in it for their enterprise there to, to increase the amount of control activity on the public land directly opposite them, absolutely it's, it's a benefit for them to help themselves, I suppose, in conjunction with government. Uh, we'll be obviously helping out and doing control works in those same areas, but as long as we can both work together, we can hopefully both come up and accept the same outcome.